Well, the sled is uh, all torqued up and ready. I filled up the thermostat reservoir with coolant and uh, it's time to get that put back together. Toss my thermostat in and hook up that hose. Um, one thing, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video, but they recommend that you put some sealant uh, on your head bolts. Um, and you'll see, like, basically, sometimes they'll leak a little bit and you'll constantly be losing pressure and having to bleed the damn thing all the time. And uh, I've run into that issue and, you know, you'll see where the coolant is leaking out if any of the head bolts are missing uh, or if any of the head bolts are leaking. So, you know, I, I didn't do it because I didn't have the sealant available uh, tonight and I didn't feel like going to buy any. So I've got it back together like this. Uh, once the machine gets up to temperature and goes for a little ride. Oh, that's yeah, once everything gets up to temperature, uh, if there is a leak in one of those head bolts, you're going to see. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just a matter of pulling the head bolt, putting the sealant and retorquing everything. But uh, in my experience, most of the time you're going to be okay. I've really only had an issue with a head bolt once and I've been running these Liberty engines for friggin' near, well, since 2004 or 2005, I think I've been, you know, so that's, you know, over 10 years of playing around with these things. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. If you, if you need to fix that with a little bit of sealant, go ahead. But uh, the main goal with this operation was keeping the coolant from going into the combustion chamber.